so welcome back to my new video so in this video we are going to learn about how to model the screen in SAP analysis okay so at first uh, uh, if I'm gonna show you this picture so this is the warehouse and I have already tried to model this warehouse in SAP analysis so if you don't know how to model all these things then you can comment down and on the next video I will try to explain how all of these modelings can be done and today we are just gonna learn how to do the moving load analysis in SAP so before starting uh, we have to learn something about our new crane is gonna roll in this room whether it's gonna be on this side or whether it's gonna be in opposite direction it doesn't matter so at first we have to turn on all the level of your frames so at first for that just go to T and then on the frame turn on all the levels and then we apply and ok if you do that then you can see all the levels showing in your frame axis so after that uh, let me show you one picture this one and I will try to this one because it's it's gonna be important in the next few moment so after these things have been done just go to define moving load vehicle so add vehicle so let our vehicle name be VH1 and then here we can see load length type so leading load so what do you mean by leading load is here so if this vehicle is moving towards this direction then this is leading load and from this part to this part it is fixed length so in our case uh, our fixed length from this portion to this portion is 2 meter so just remember I'm just gonna put leading load and our axial load is gonna be 37.3 kilonewton meter kilonewton so add so if you want to know this axial load then you might either have to ask the supplier or you can read the specification of this crane system and you can figure out how much load it's gonna carry so you need to figure out how to give the axial load so the first one is leading load and the second one should be fixed length and the minimum distance is 2 meter as I have said like there so from here to here it is 2 meter so it is always going to be fixed and the length is never going to get changed so fixed length 2 meter and axial load it's going to be same so I'm gonna add like this so if I add like this then we can see our structure has already been made in a graphical representation like this so just and then click vehicle remains fully in path okay okay so we have already defined our vehicle name then go to moving load and then vehicle class so here if you modify your show class then it will you can see the scale factor and which is one in our case so and you can change the scale factor depending upon the depending upon the requirement of the client so after that go to define moving load and path this is one of the most important thing so add a new part defined from frames so do you know why did we turn on our frame system because we want to add our load on the frames so add new path defined from frames and then from here I will try to cancel this 
so from here we have to determine like what is our path where our crane is gonna get rolled so in this uh, from here we can see our path is starting from 812 and then it is ending like 804 so if we go from this direction if you want your uh, crane to move from this direction then you have to choose path like from 812 to 804 so 804 to 812 and in another side we can see our path is gonna be 863 starting is 863 867 so here it's gonna be 870 870 871 so on this side Our vehicle will start from 863 and it will go till 871 so you just need to remember this level and sometimes like if you work too much then sometimes there will be it there will be like suppose if there is 863 then this one might be 865 so you need to take like you need to check the level carefully and then after that just go to define moving load path add new path so let that be path one and then we can just add our level name so our level has started from 804 so just keep on adding okay 805 six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve add so if you want to move from reverse order like this 812 to 807 or 804 to this it doesn't matter so now we are taking from 812 to 804 so okay so this is our path one and again we have to add a new path so this is going to be bad path two and it's going to be from 863 because this was the path on the next side so 63 So we have already added our two path. Okay. Okay. So after adding our path, what we have to do is go to define and then go to load case. So there is nothing here now. So we have to go to define or what we can do. I want to show you one thing before I go made a load pattern. So if you go to display so path and here we our two path have been selected and just click on this point so point and all connection okay so now we can see our path has been created like this and it has shown points in all connection so after that we just need to go to define uh, load pattern so let us say this one is green and then in the type it should be go to more 
and it should be vehicle live self so multiplier 0 add new load pattern and then after that you need to go to modify vehicle live load so here vehicle 1 path 1 start distance start time so speed so if you want to calculate these things uh, we have an excel sheet uh, i will show you the excel sheet regarding the things so how to calculate all of these things okay so um, so here is our excel sheet so excel sheet for crane so speed of our crane uh, speed of our crane is already you can ask to your customer because uh, it depends upon at what speed our crane is gonna move so you can ask our customer or whether you can find the specification of the speed of these things on google or anywhere so you can easily find the speed of the crane so after that we need to find the selected path so our selected path is gonna be so here it is 12 meter but in our actual case it's gonna be uh, so what do you mean by selected path is total length of our path where the crane is gonna move so our total length from here to here so from starting point to the ending point so it's gonna be I think it is uh, 60 54 meter so you can easily find the total distance from this point up to where the crane is gonna travel so in my case it's 54 meter so if you do the 54 meter then you can directly calculate the duration duration is uh, selected path divided by speed of crane then duration is 81 second so discretized load in every path so you can make whatever you want 0 0.1 or 1 second or I am gonna do 1 second and steps it will show accordingly how many steps you want so you can easily make this excel sheet so duration is just selected path divided by speed of crane discretized load you have to give it yourself and the speed is duration divide by discretized load in every path and you will get this excel sheet so after you get this one just put the values 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 add and again part 2 add so this is done okay okay so our crane load has been assigned and then similarly you can also add all of your load like dead load live load snow load wind load everything on the building as per the requirement so after that you can run the model and then after running go to design steel frame design view device preference so design code i am doing it for euro code so it's gonna be euro code and if you if they if your client have told you to consider for deflection then you need to click on yes and you need to find out whether a deflection is L. in our case it is L by 120, L by 120, L by 360, L by 240 so it might vary so the deflection limit is given by your client so based on that you can choose what deflection you want then ok then again go to dis design, steel frame design, start design and check of the structure So 
as we can see like most of our cross on the top section is failing but it doesn't matter for now because we are not checking for that one we are just checking for our crane load and it looks fine so uh, after that we just need to check the deflection displacement so go to display so deformed shape because of crane apply okay so we can see if we do this then we can see the load step one load step two we can see the deflection in this part also like this load step three if we keep on increasing the load step then it will it will go it like this and it will go it like this so and then after that uh, if you want to see the video like that i have made before like this and then like after after your uh, analysis is done you can see all the sure force and this and that from this model but if you want to make the video just go to file and then create a video and create a multi-step animation video so our video name will be fill complete model avi save from here load case name is green start end step so here you can just put your magnification factor as 5 or 10 or depending upon how much you want you can take on everything but if you click on this one then your vehicle will not be shown so don't click on this one and then just do ok so now we can see our one vehicle is moving on this side one is moving on this side so we did one thing wrong because for this we choose this section and for this we choose the starting point as this section so what we can do is we can unlock the model go to define moving loop path and for path 2 we can reverse order ok ok and then run our model run now done and if you click on this i then it will start to do the design check automatically this i and then after that uh, just go to file create a video create a multi-step animation video magnification factor 2 ok so from here we can see and then just do ok and then we can download our video in blc form so this is it for today and i'm sorry if the video is a bit long i hope you have learned something new today and if you have any confusion regarding this thing just click on the comment video and i will try to answer as much as possible bye guys take care